We're here at Livernois Motorsports. We just wanted to show you another great feature with our split personality tuner. I know we've talked about the features and benefits that it can be used on nitrous systems, but it is also capable to adjust for various levels of ethanol and fuel. I know E85 is growing in popularity, especially with forced induction vehicles like this GT500 that we're using for a test vehicle. And we just wanted to show you the different ways that this can help you with. We all know that E85 is available pretty much everywhere anymore. All right, and we're gonna show you how this works to set up for different various levels of E85. So right here, hit the no and the down button simultaneously, turn the ignition on, and you'll see that it's starting to power up the device. It's saying that it's starting. You will see some notes that it says nitrous on it, that's just because it does also work for nitrous applications and we are adapting it to be used with this E85 functionality. So go ahead and release the keys now and you'll see it's communicating with the vehicle. The default for it is 85% ethanol. Now we strongly recommend that you do actually test the ethanol content of it so that this tuner can be used the way that it's intended. You may only have 60% ethanol, you may have less than that in it. You always wanna test your ethanol content when you're using E85. So as you can see, we can use the up and down buttons to go through the various percentages. We've got 85%, 60%, 40%, 20%, all the way down to nitrous off, which is actually meaning there's no E85 in it. You can go back up 20%, 40%, 60, 85, you can even go all the way up to 100% if you do run E100. For this specific car, we've already tested the ethanol content of it. It is at 85%, so we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. Now it's communicating with the vehicle right now, and it's telling us right now it's switching over the tune currently switching now it says nitrous on that just means that it's gone through its whole process and it's working properly for the 85 percent ethanol so we'll go ahead and start the car now and it starts up just fine now we do have it set up that it's on a switch which we've mounted in the center console so you won't be able to see it but when we go and activate that switch or deactivate it, you'll see it's switching and now it's off. So the car's running on E85 but with it off so it's definitely not running properly. So we'll go ahead and turn that back on since we are using E85. You'll see it again, it says switching and it's activated. So now it's already set up for that. So it, all you guys that run E85 let's say you get into an area where you can't find it anymore instead of having to go through reprogram it and all that you can just flip the switch off and you have it set up to be on just gasoline so that's the split personality tuner on e85 check out the dyno video that we just did with it and the results that we got on this completely stocked 2013 shelby and definitely stay tuned for more developments